Hey guys, General Rufus here, coming to you from the bunker. We're playing Dark Souls Remastered. Um, so, you'll have to forgive me, because yet again, we are um, doing a voiceover, because my software failed to capture my voice again. Uh, uh, it's actually been a little while since I recorded the episode, so bear with me here. Um, I, I believe I'm telling you about how there's been some changes uh, in my equipment up to now. Um, what the hell? So, oh yeah, we're sh I'm showing you uh, arm my mask, armor of the sun plus 10, uh, my wanderer manchet plus 8, and the elite knight leggings plus 6, which those will be replaced before too long. Um, still rocking the ring of steel protection, and then I'm um, just kind of showing off my other rings, which uh, I bought from the uh, merchant down at Firelink Shrine that sells the, the magic stuff. Um, so... Uh, with my current build, I switch back and forth between the steel, the ring of steel protection, and the wolf ring uh, for the extra poise. Um, I also have better armor. I'm still using the mask of the child and the armor of the sun, um, but then I, I'm using the black iron uh, gauntlets and leggings. Um, at this point in the game, I'm, I'm level 73. Um, and I'm just kind of showing. I got my grass crest shield plus 10. Uh, you can get that up to plus 15. There's not really any point in getting up to plus 15. Uh, you can get up to plus 14, and that's where it's going to top out its stability and protections for you. So you don't have to use that Titanite slab if you really don't want to. Um, I'm not sure if I got my Demon Spear up to plus 5 at this point. I should have. Um, I think the episode before I uploaded... Uh, our episode before this one that I uploaded, uh, I, yeah, okay, yeah, Moonlight Butterfly Horn uh, plus five, so it is a magic based spear, um, and it's got quite a quite a good reach on it. it. Scales really well with intelligence. I may be replacing that on my current build. Um, I haven't decided. <sighs> Got to look at what other weapons are available. Um, so we are headed to the uh, Duke's archives. Uh, I did clear out these guys before starting to record the episode, just so that, you know, I wouldn't have to worry about them. Uh, we are in Anor Londo, and I really want to get the Moonlight Greatsword. Um, so we're going to try and get that. Why am I looking around so much? I have no idea what I'm doing here. I need to drink more. I'm too sober for this. I'm very frustrated that the uh, sound... Um, didn't get captured on this episode. Uh, I, I did check more of my recordings. I do have a couple to do voiceovers on. Um, yeah. Okay, so, uh, this doorway, when you come up to it, uh, prior to placing the Lord Vessel at the entrance to the first kiln, uh, this is guarded, basically, or it's blocked. Uh, once you place the, uh, the Lord Vessel, though, um, and that opens up, and then, uh, you can come up here. Now, the reason I went here first, I would not suggest going here first if you um, are not a magic build and you, and if you don't want the Moonlight Greatsword. That is literally the only reason I'm coming up here. And these boars, man, they are they're tough. Basically, this whole place is tough, especially for uh, the level that I'm at, level 73, um, and the weapons that I use. It's I am not well engineered for this area. Now, their armor is supposed to be weaker on their backside. I think I figured out I can avoid getting deflected back by two hand. So as of right now, we, uh, we're still using the spear. Um, and we switch back and forth between the spear and the uh, Man Serpent uh, Greatsword. Plus ten. Which I eventually modify to be a lightning uh, man serpent greatsword which is actually fantastic um, right now it's it, I have it uh, where I'm currently at it's plus three lightning and uh, it just it keeps getting better it's it's actually phenomenal um, it's a really good PvP weapon especially for like a quality build because it, it, all you gotta do is have the 24 strength on I'm trapped inside the board right now all you gotta do is have the 24 strength to be able to wield it in one hand, and you wouldn't even have to have your strength that high if you if you uh, two-hand it. Oh, these boys are really tough. There you go, drink up. 
I do believe they have a weakness to fire, but I'm not sure. Like, a lot of things have weakness to fire in this game, but you wouldn't expect to have that weakness. I also have some other uh, man serpent great swords on my build, which I, I will be upgrading. I am going to do a um, fire or chaos one, whichever one doesn't scale very high, very well. Uh, like it loses, that loses its scaling. Um, I haven't really looked into it too much. And then I'm also thinking of doing a magic one, a magic or enchanted, which uh, I haven't decided if I want it to scale or not. It depends on how it scales. Because uh, I, I once I, I my build is at 120 right now, and uh, my, my intelligence is up to 50. So yeah, this is turning into more of a uh, let's talk with General Rufus episode, and uh, I'm gonna have to edit this because my I do get interrupted by one of my friends joining in my game, and what I'm what I did was um instead of discontinuing my play, I just stopped the recording and continued to play through. And actually got the Moonlight Greatsword. Um, and then I just, what I did is I, I, I kind of like backtracked. So you'll see that in, uh, I don't know if I'm going to clip that together with this episode. I haven't decided yet. We'll see how we are. I, I do die a couple times coming through here. Which I will probably uh, end up editing out. It's, this area is difficult. It really is. Um, that archer up there makes, makes life a hell. And these hollows, while they're not particularly tough themselves, um, they do hit hard. Like, really hard. They should not be hitting as hard as they are, I swear. Um, they're easy to take down, though. And, of course, the damage as I drink. And just having that shield to go with uh, the heavy hitting, it really, uh, it really does a number on you. Now, uh, spear, it's it's really nice in terms of reach, but it is pure magic damage, which is not always great. Like these crystal golems, they are not greatly affected by magic damage. They are, uh, I do believe they have a weakness to electricity. So, um, I haven't decided. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the uh, the various spears out there. I really like having a spear. A spear is actually fantastic for combating uh, fisher fishermen. Uh, when I say fishermen, I'm talking about backstabbers. And you'll see in a later episode, I already recorded the episode, but I get invaded by a guy uh, in Lost Isolith. And that's pretty much all he does is try to backstab me. Um, he ends up parrying me once and gets the repost. But that's literally like the most damage he does to me. Um, at one point, he does... I think, a uh, lightning weapon, and uh, he ends up uh, basically just blasting the crap out of my shield, and that does some damage to me, but really not that much. Oh, wow. Did not. Oh, wow, that guy wrecked me. Yeah, those guys are a little tough. Uh, so we're doing a continuation episode here. Uh, I continued on after my last recording was interrupted, and... Uh, Basically, I stopped the recording but kept playing, and now we're going to do some like backtracking. You can see I have the Moonlight Greatsword in my hand, um, and I'm going to show you how to get that. Um, you have to cut off the tail of Seath, the dragon, which is a uh, one of the primary bosses in the game. You have to kill him in order to, uh, in order to get to the end of the game. Like, I'm pretty sure you have to kill pretty much every boss. There's only a handful of optional ones. Good uh, jump smack there, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got really lucky actually getting this Moonlight Greatsword. I, I summoned in help, and the guy who was helping me actually almost killed Seath before I could get the sword. Um, now, when you play with other people and you go after Seath the Scaleless, I think that everyone gets their own version of Seath. Um, because it just some, it seemed like he was aggroed on me the whole time, and yet uh, the guys I was playing with were dancing around as if they were uh, aggroed on too. Um, and that's me helping other people, other people helping me. It just it was like universal. It really felt like everyone had their own seeth. 
Ooh, that was a narrow dodge there. Wait for him to cast. Ooh, could go after him. Schwing. So yeah, as soon as he starts to do that miracle, he's he's getting out. He's he's bailing on him. Okay, good. He's gonna try and enchant up. Allows me to get two hits in. He then he gets out. And then watch your right. Ah, uh, oh, you still got hit. Oh, I'm gonna hit in the back too. Ooh, two good dodges. And then I, I get another Estus Flask back for whatever reason. Run. Swing. Blasted by some, or the, what is it, channeler, I think they're called? Alright, so I heal up and then I go and finish them finally. <sighs> Bad time. Badly timed to roll. Oh, and he freaking vanishes on me. Where does he go? I forget where he goes. He's not back down below. Is he further down the balcony? I think he is. Alright, so that door right there behind me, uh, when you come through here the first time, that door is not open. You cannot get through there. Um, but there is an item over here for you to get. I do suggest getting it. Right there. Uh, I forget what it is. Some kind of, some kind of Titanite or something. And he's gonna do his dance again. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bait out his guards. I should have, I should have been able to kill him. I should have been able to kill him before that. Now, at this point in the game, I'm still pretty weak. My intelligence is not that high, but it's, it's definitely my highest stat. Um. And that's, that's pretty much what the sword does. And also the sword is, I think, plus two. I think I had two dragon scales. But it gets up to plus five. And once it's at plus five, it's much stronger. And he's done, finally. Okay. So I do believe that there's a mimic right here. And someone wrote a sign there. Amazing trap ahead. Yeah, it's a mimic. There's a mimic right there. Uh, I forget what he drops. But, you know, kill every mimic you come across. Um, so that door's closed. And I'm going to show you the significance of that. Uh, just a moment. Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. Oh, I think I'm looking for more items. Just going to check it around, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm trying to get you guys a 100% playthrough. <sighs> that door's closed when you come through. I'm just kind of talking about that. Um, but there's supposed to, supposed to be an elevator right there, I think. Should be a lever. I can call it down. Am I doing this wrong? I'm probably doing this wrong right now. Yeah, okay, I'm looking under here. That guy caused me trouble. My last... My last attempt to get through here. Okay. Come on, buddy. Come on, General. You can figure this out. I know you figure it out. I was there. I did it. These archives are a pain, so do not come here when you're a low level. Actually, I should not be here as a level 73 with this build right now. It's just not good. There, finally found the lever. Get that elevator back down, making sure that guy's not coming through that door behind me. So, that, like I said, that door is not open for you. There is an elevator platform just sitting here waiting for you. So, you ride it up, and right about here is where I think my recording got interrupted by my friend Scooby, I think. Uh, there's also like a, a way to shortcut, like that second balcony there. What you can do is, once you get this elevator up, you send it back down, jump off real quick, and then jump on the arm, and then you can get to, get to that balcony, which allows you to shortcut this. All right, and then there's an enemy in this cave, an NPC, it's rocking all kinds of crystal equipment. Crystal mask, crystal crystal shield. Um, he's a little tough. And then there's also a crystal lizard, which I was able to get. Um, so then you come up through here, and you get into your first of two fights with Seath. And it's not really a fight. It's more like Seath just sitting there, completely immortal, you know, unable to get damage at all. And you just basically... He kills you. Excuse <laughs> me. 
Oh, there's a new item there. That's right, it's an ember. Large magic ember, which I'm trying to figure out who I go to with that. I think I have to go to the blacksmith in the catacombs, so I'm not sure. Um, so he kills you, and then he sticks you in a, uh, a cell. So you don't wake up at the bonfire that you last rested at, you wake up at a new bonfire for some reason. Yeah, you guess is as good as mine on that one. Um. Hmm. Then what? Oh, that's right. So now I'm heading to that, that cell. Which I may just clip out. I'll probably clip out. Because then when I add these together, it's, it's going to be, it'll be less than 30 minutes. That's my, that's my goal when I make these videos. Anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes. Ugh. Alcohol. Okay. Out of my way. Ho. Of course, there's an archer just sitting there pecking away at me. Okay. Oh, that guy dropped an item. Do I grab it? It's probably like a shield or a straight sword. I think that's all these guys drop. Just shields and straight swords. Yep. This is kite shield. Oh! Where'd that guy come from? Finish him off real quick. Okay. Still no idea where that guy came from. Maybe he did some damage. Should I get that guy to teleport out? There we go. And run away from him. Okay. Yeah, I may clip all this. And show you the jail cell and all that stuff. I'm already editing this episode, so it wouldn't be a big deal to do that. Yeah, get backstabbed, bitch. Yeah, so with my builds, what I like to do is I like to try to keep a spear and a shield. Um, whether it be the, it's usually going to be the grass crush shield for that stamina regen, but it may be like, you know, the heater shield, which is a super lightweight shield that gives you, it's the lightest shield that gives you 100% um, physical resistance. So, right there is the cell, and standing right outside of it is going to be one of these serpent men that's sleeping. He doesn't respawn. So I'm going to go ahead and rest at it, get all the enemies back, get my Estus flasks. So there are three bad guys at the end of the cell, which you can fight if you want to. Um, and then there's a serpent man right there, so you hack that serpent man, right? And then he gives you the key to the door, right? So you can go fight those guys if you want. Uh, they're guarding a door, basically that sits above an item which you can drop down to and then these guys will take off as soon as you leave um, because another one of the serpent men starts playing a music box it's super annoying um, but it aggros these like snake girls and they just come flying up one after the other but the good thing about the snake girls um, for this build at least is they are very weak to magic and there's the music box directly below um, all these cells are closed until you get the keys now oh, there's a couple of like crystal hollows in there. <laughs> no big deal. Smack them down. Now you don't even have to open all these. I don't think. I think there's a couple of items, but nothing great. Um, it's you can open them. You, you can skip them. It doesn't really matter. They're not essential. Um, to get the key for Logan's cell, you uh, which is at the bottom. Big Hat Logan gets captured again. Uh, you actually have to go back out into the archives, and I think I end up showing you where that key is. Because I got him opened up, and he's, you know, you need him for a sorcerer build. Um, because he gives you, you know, he, you can get the Great Soul Spear from him, which you should already have. But then you also get the Crystal Great Soul Spear and the Crystal uh, Homing Soul Mass, which is a fantastic spell, especially for PvP. Not necessarily bosses. It seems to not work that well against bosses for some reason. It just like kind of fades away a lot. So I'm going to show you the uh, the maiden, the maidens, 
which I don't, I, I don't know who these girls are by lore exactly. I think they're supposed to be like followers of uh, Princess Guinevere or something like that. Um, but there's two of them that are weeping that will not aggro. And once you kill them, you actually get Guinevere's like special miracles that uh, you have to be in her covenant to use. I think one of the snake men's actually going to come down the ladder. So yeah, they're super weak to magic damage. And actually, uh, the Moonlight Butterfly Horn is like the ideal weapon because you can hit them while you're out of reach for them and it just really just jacks them up. And these Snake Men are way tougher than the ones in Sun's Fortress. He decides to not come back down, which is cool. It's fine. Do I switch? Do I do it? No, not right now. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, able to stay back. Just double tapping all of them. And they do drop um, items. Decent items, actually. They're not bad for farming. I forget what they drop exactly. I believe these girls are supposed to be like mutated by Sif and his experiments or something. Big, that's Big Hat Logan's cell right there. Okay, they dropped humanity. No, that's not bad. Uh, that's Big Hat Logan's cell. You do need to get a special key for him. Until then, you can talk to him. And there's also an item in the back of his cell. Oh, that's another item. Okay, another humanity. Good. <clears throat> in the back of his cell, there's, there's another item, which isn't bad. I forget what it is. Sorry, we are doing these voiceovers like a week or so after the, actual, the initial recording. It's not like anyone really watches this anyway, but, you know, whatever. Close it. Okay, so, until you stop the music box yourself in here, uh, it just keeps playing. So I'm going to show you how to stop it. And it's very annoying because you can hear it out in the archives too. I don't know if it has any effect on everything out there, but it's 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 atrocious sounding. So, uh, just so you know, that area that I went up to, where I told you that Seath does his uh, his killing animation, where he actually kills you, um, you should wear a ring of sacrifice, so then you don't have to go back up there right away, because it, you will lose all your souls and everything. Um, and then once you complete Big Hat Logan's storyline, which means you get him out of the cell, then you purchase all of his um, spells, he actually goes mad. And you talk to him, and he like gets all grouchy. And then uh, you, when you reload the area, he comes, or you come back, and he's gone. You go back up to that area where you first fought Seath, and he's up there. And uh, he's, he's naked. He has nothing but his big hat on, and he just starts chucking spells at you. And uh, once you kill him, you get his staff and uh, his hat. And then you go back to where you bought stuff from him. And, uh, or no, you don't get his staff. You get the Tin Crystal Catalyst. Which is uh, it's actually really good for um, PvP. If, you're, if you have a build like mine, which doesn't focus on spells very much, but it does spells pretty well. Um, so what it does is it basically doubles the damage that spells do, but it, um, cuts the amount of spells you have in half. So I heal again? Yeah, I heal. Get my Estus Flasks. Oh, and I actually level up. Okay. Yep. This is back before I started item duping. Now, at one point, I, at some point I start item duping, because, uh, originally, before I figured out how to item dupe, I would literally just go to Anna Orlando and just grind the crap out of the giant guardians. Okay, so there's an item right there I'm trying to show you. And the way you get to it is you got to go to the top of this ladder, and then there's a ledge over here which you just walk to the very end and then walk off of. Now, it, it does do a bit of damage to you when you fall. And then there's also another item where if you go into the bonfire uh, area, turn right, there's three crystal hollows, kill all them, and there's a cell you can open up. And he just walked right out from that cell. Oh, look, he just saw the ghost. Yeah, he just whiffed. Yeah. Um, you just walk right off that cell, right off that cell door, and it should drop you right into it, right by an item. And of course, you need to either heal up or homeward bone out. 
because that can be rough. Alright. Oops. Dodge that guy. And of course, you're going to block that one, huh? Alright. So, yeah, we're going to advance back up and uh, just try and get down. Uh, there are a couple more items to be gotten. A couple of channelers up here. They're not fun to deal with. Just so you know. Ugh. So these stairs rotate back and forth. Um, that's how you get more items. It's also how you fight these channelers. Because they, they love to just teleport away. Yep, there he goes. And he's going to go right across the way. So activate these stairs. Now they have a hard time hitting you. And the stairs are rotating. And you will need to go that way. Well, that's right behind you. Where the stairs just end up bottoming, bottoming out to. Which I think I show you. Do I just... Yeah, I just ignore the channeler now. Okay. Like I said, there's a couple of items. You can definitely explore this area. Um... And there you go, there's an archer right there. So, drop that guy one way or another. Use a spell or something. Of course, I use the slowest frickin' spells in the game. There's an elevator, or there's a ladder right there. Which you should go down. You definitely need to go down. Um, and then there's a shortcut to a bonfire right there. That lever. Go ahead and pull that. So you pull that, and then there's a bonfire straight ahead to the left there. Let me kind of show you. Yeah. Okay. So I rest here, and I think I show you where the key is real quick for Logan's cell. Okay, so... This is where Big Hat Logan ends up. That might be the that chest right there might be the key. Oh, hello. I'm not sure. It's one of these chests over here. There's a handful of them. There's also a mimic. Um, so then look at all these items. You see, I see crystal soul spear, crystal magic weapon, homing crystal soul mass. Yeah, I grind up and get these. Um, I think what I do is I actually help a bunch of people kill Seath until I get these. This, like I said, this is before I started item duping. Um, item duping, I accidentally, I, I was doing and I accidentally consumed the soul of Ornstein. Um, but I've been duping with the, uh, Iron Golem. Okay, so there's a bunch of chests in here. These are all, like, nice little items. Um, and then right where that bloodstain is, that's a mimic. And I think I activated the bloodstain to show you guys something getting chomped on by the mimic. So make sure, you know, get a nice wind up and crush it. Yep. Problem. Chomp, 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 chomp. Dead person. Yep. There's another item back there. So yeah. Uh, and then there's a, uh, a switch you can throw to drop that staircase down. And that's how you get to Seath for the actual boss fight. And there's an enemy like right below me. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to cut this episode off here. And uh, I will do some jolly cooperation to uh, basically show you guys um, how to... Uh, beat Seath. So, yeah. Hope you like what you saw. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.